Hi students, I am your teacher for today. I am Mama Rose and welcome to our statistics class. Our topic for today is about discrete and continuous random variables. I hope you are as excited as me in our video lesson for today. So let's begin. Now before we proceed to our lesson proper, I will first check your prior knowledge about the topic. So for every item, you will just answer true or false. Let's begin. Number one. Discrete random variables are countable. True or false? Number two. Continuous random variables are infinite. Is it true or is it false? And lastly, number three. Age is a discrete random variable while year of birth is continuous. Is it true or false? Now, I hope you remembered all of your answers because the correct answers will be revealed at the end of this lesson. So, please listen carefully. Random variables have two types. We have here, discrete and continuous. So, let us first begin discussing what discrete random variables is all about. Discrete random variables are countable, takes a numerical value, distinct and separable. Generally, it is a result of counting something with gaps in between. So it could be 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. Here are our examples. Number of children, slices of pizza, and year of birth. In every family, the number of children varies. You could be the only child. You could have five children or just like me, we are, we are eight in the family. And also, in the slices of pizza, you could decide how many slices do you want. You can have 8 slices, 6 slices, or 4 slices. And year of birth. I was born in 1995, and you could be born on any other year. So what other examples of discrete random variables can you think of? Next is continuous random variables. Continuous random variables are infinite, takes any value from a finite or infinite interval, and it is something in between. It is generally a result of measuring something. So from 1 to 2, you could consider 1 and 1 half, 1 and 1 fourth, or 1 and 3 fourth. Here are a few examples. It could be the height, temperature, and speed. The height of male children at age 6 is from 42 to 49 inches. The temperature could be from a negative number to a positive number. And the speed limit here in the Philippines is from 60 to 100 kilometers per hour. What other examples of continuous random variables can you think of? Now, I think we are ready to try. Let us answer discrete or continuous. So, are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Number one, number of eggs in the basket. Is it discrete or continuous? You're right, it's discrete. Next, let's proceed to number two. Number two, volts of electricity. Is it discrete or continuous? Yep, it's continuous. Let's proceed to number three. Number three, time to finish a race. Is it discrete or continuous? Yes, again, it's continuous. And lastly, number four, Number of Facebook likes, discrete or continuous? It's discrete. Great job, students! Now let us go back to our pre-assessment. So this time, I would like you to get all of the correct answers. Okay, let's go back with number one. Discrete random variables are countable. It's true. Next, number two. Continuous random variables are infinite. Again, it's true. And lastly, age is a discrete random variable while year of birth is continuous. No, it's false. Why? Because age is a continuous random variable while year of birth is discrete. So I hope you got everything right. What have you learned today? What difficulties have you encountered? That's all for today's video lesson. So I hope you had all of the answers right and you have learned something today. Goodbye students and see you on our next video lesson.